In the bustling metropolis of Alexandria during the Hellenistic era, around 200 BC, resided a prosperous merchant named Callias. Embarking on a trade expedition from the vibrant markets of Byzantium to the opulent ports of Alexandria, Callias's fortune took an unforeseen turn. His vessel, laden with valuable commodities, foundered in the tumultuous waters, submerging not only his livelihood but also his dreams. In the span of a singular calamitous event, beyond the grasp of mortal influence, Callias, once affluent, faced an abrupt descent into destitution. Ponder for a moment the plight of Callias. How would you react if your life's toil were obliterated by the capricious forces of nature? Would anger and sorrow cloud your judgment, or would you perceive life's twists as an impartial dance of fate? This narrative echoes the timeless wisdom of Zeno, the progenitor of Stoicism, a solitary occurrence, an uncontrollable force, catapulted a prosperous man into the throes of poverty. Consider yourself in Callias's sandals. How would you confront the sudden obliteration of your life's work? Anguish, resentment, and a sense of injustice may seem like rational responses, but not to Zeno, the venerable architect of Stoic philosophy. A minor shift can reverberate through eternity, and a subtle reframing of one's mindset can cascade into profound and transformative changes. Stoicism, at its core, epitomizes acceptance and indifference. The teachings of Zeno, inspired by the musings of Socrates and other philosophical luminaries, birthed Stoicism. In a world where external events are beyond our dominion, Zeno asserted that our power lies in shaping our internal responses to adversity. Rather than bemoaning the spilt milk or, in Callias' case, sunken cargo, Zeno exhibited composure in the face of adversity, maintaining equanimity despite his dire predicament. Stoicism's modern perception often portrays its adherence as unyielding, impervious to emotional extremes. However, the philosophy's essence surpasses this stereotype. Stoicism offers a comprehensive worldview, enduring through centuries. Its principles find relevance in contemporary scenarios, echoing the resilience and adaptability that Zeno exemplified. Stoicism facilitates the processing of negative emotions, transforming them into perspectives that illuminate the intricacies of existence. Perspective, the bedrock of Stoicism, acknowledges the diversity of experiences and perspectives in the human tapestry. Stoics, gathering in public spaces to disseminate their philosophy, believed in the universality of its benefits, accessible to all, from slaves to emperors. Prominent Stoics like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius demonstrated the philosophy's applicability across diverse life circumstances. Stoicism transcends boundaries, fostering unity and togetherness, the true essence of cosmopolitanism. In its nascent days, Stoicism challenged societal norms, advocating for the inclusion of women in philosophical pursuits. Musonius Rufus, Epictetus's teacher, passionately argued that women possessed the same eagerness for virtue as men. Even in an era resistant to such ideas, women were welcome to freely engage with Stoicism, reflecting the philosophy's progressive ethos. Why has Stoicism endured, becoming a way of life for many? In a world fraught with uncertainties, Stoicism equips individuals to navigate unforeseen twists without succumbing to the sway of emotions. Imagine rain on a seemingly sunny day, a metaphor for life's unexpected turns. Stoicism teaches use to anticipate adversity, acknowledging its inevitability, and fostering resilience in the face of challenges. Stoic exercises like voluntary discomfort underscore the philosophy's emphasis on gratitude. By embracing discomfort willingly, individuals cultivate mental fortitude, preparing themselves for future tribulations. In an era dominated by materialism and societal expectations, Stoicism imparts a crucial message. Happiness isn't contingent on external possessions. The philosophy encourages detachment from societal pressures, focusing on self-improvement for its intrinsic value. The dichotomy of control, a cardinal principle, underscores Stoicism's essence. Epictetus elucidates that our chief task is discerning matters within our control from those beyond it, emphasizing the power of choosing our responses. Stoic virtues, 
wisdom, courage, temperance, and justice, guide adherents toward a balanced life. Wisdom empowers individuals to differentiate internal from external realms, while courage urges persistence and resistance. Temperance advocates for moderation and doing more with less, challenging the relentless pursuit of excess. Justice, the pinnacle virtue, emphasizes doing good to one another, recognizing our shared existence. Nelson Mandela's embodiment of Stoic values during his struggle against apartheid epitomizes the philosophy's enduring impact. Instead of seeking retribution, Mandela advocated for reconciliation and rebuilding, echoing Stoic principles of acceptance and moving forward. In the realm of modern medicine, Stoicism influences therapeutic approaches like rational emotive behavioral therapy and logotherapy. These methodologies draw on Stoic principles to challenge negative thought patterns and infuse life with purpose, respectively. The Stoic journey involves rewiring thought processes, replacing old paradigms with new ones. By valuing what can be controlled and minimizing fixation on uncontrollable external factors, Stoicism paves the way for a more content and meaningful existence. Stoicism's enduring legacy lies in its ability to guide individuals through life's storms, offering solace even when ships sink and dreams drown. For in the grand tapestry of existence, everything has an end, and Stoicism invites us to embrace both the highs and lows with equanimity.